Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to decontaminating your car without using a clay bar. So this is what we would call a chemical decontamination. And just for the record, in all my years of being in this business, I've never seen anybody remove 100% of contaminants just by performing a standalone chemical decontamination. So I'd rather keep it real and show you how far you can go without using a clay bar. So let me explain this as simply as possible. A fallout remover will remove those tiny black spots, which is basically metal particles released from brake pads and they find their way into the paintwork. And it's not just that, it also comes from being near train tracks and believe it or not, it's in the air that we breathe on a daily basis. So these types of chemicals will remove those tiny particles in your paint, maybe not after the first attempt, but after giving it a few goes, it will eventually shift. However, it won't dissolve other contaminants like tree sap or road tar. That's where dedicated tar removers and the clay bar comes into play. Step one, I'm fast forwarding from the wheels and the door shuts because I already have a dedicated video on those two subjects coming next week. So we're actually going to jump straight into the snow foam stage because this car previously had a clean up prior to being delivered at the garage. But normally I would go around the lower third of the vehicle with a citrus pre-wash if it was dirty. Step two, once we've carried out the foaming process, we need to leave it on for about three minutes minimum to get the full benefits. Step three, we can rinse off the foam ready for the two bucket wash, which as always, I start from top down regardless of the condition of the car. Once we've made our way around the entire vehicle, we can then rinse off the shampoo. Step four, choose a dedicated iron fallout remover and make your way around the car. Now, depending on the temperature or the weather conditions outside, I would be very careful getting too far ahead of yourself. So performing a decon wash in the winter is always best because the car is cool and you can get longer dwelling times, meaning better performance from the chemicals. And it also means you save money because you're using less products. If you do have any worries, just work on one side at a time and try not to let it dry. Now, one thing you will notice is the lack of purple running off this car. And that is because I've already carried out a safe pre-wash first. Unfortunately, a lot of companies may mislead you by spraying this on a dirty car and it will turn a white car purple pretty quickly. And I've actually tested this theory on my other channel called Epic Car Show Detailing. Just have a look at this. This is the difference. This is what I'm on about. This is why you didn't see the purple coming out because I've just sprayed over all the dirt as well. However, if you spray fallout remover over dirty paint or dirty wheels for that matter, you're just wasting product, money and time. These chemicals can remove fallout, but not necessarily remove all the dirt there is a big difference. Step five, it's time to rinse the chemicals, but we're not done here. You do have a few options. You can either reapply for a second hit or give it one last contact wash. And because the car has already had a good wash, you can get away with just using the one bucket method if you're really satisfied. It really does depend on how much of the fallout has been removed. So what I notice most of the time is that these chemicals alone can remove up to 90% of fallout during that contact wash. For this Porsche, however, I went one step further and I did give it a clay block afterwards because this car was going in for a machine polish. But what a detailer sees and what the average enthusiast sees is completely different. For us detailers, we're always trying to push those boundaries and somehow, even when we get perfect results, we're still not quite satisfied enough. And I know that sounds strange, but that's just the way that our minds work. So for most of you, a chemical decontamination is actually gonna be enough. 